So, let's do a test mode tutorial for the LG F1496 AD5 washer dryer. So, first of all, you're going to want to make sure there's absolutely nothing in the jar. Um, as you can see, this is empty. Uh, you want to make sure there's nothing in the jar because it will spin up without balancing and it spins up quite dramatically as you'll see. So, to answer it to this mode, on this particular washing machine, you want to hold spin and temperature while turning the machine on, like this. And that will happen. And it will lock the door immediately so you can't open it. And it will flash these codes in the display while all of these lights are on. So all the programs, all the options, all the spin speeds and all the temperatures, as well as all the progress lights and the pause light, the play pause light, and the door light is on. I don't actually know what these codes mean, but it's probably something the engineers use to either identify the model and kind of the parts inside, or the programming, or just something. I don't don't really know, but. If we advance it, it will now go into clockwise tumbling and it will show the RPMs on the display. So it's going 45 RPM clockwise. So if we advance it again, it will start to do a spin. So obviously the front tire is on and it starts spinning and it will spin up to 600 RPM on this bit. As you can see on the display, it's showing the RPMs. So, 590, that's 600 RPM. So, if we advance it again, it will go up to 1400 RPM, which is the maximum speed for this machine. As you can see here, it's still showing the RPMs of the drum. So now if we advance it again, it will start to fill up. After it's slowed down. So this is showing the pressure, the pressure sensor. Um, so 255 is minimum, so that means there's no water in the drum. And as you hear it through, you start to see that number going down. That means it's filling up. So at the moment, I'm actually just filling through the pre wash compartment. So if we advance it again, it's now filling through the main wash compartment. As you can see, it's still going down. Mm -hmm. This is proving the pressure sensor is working. That's going down. So now if we glance it again, it'll fill up in the softener compartment. Now I'm not sure what this mode does. It sounds like the heat is on. So... Yeah. Definitely sounds like the heat is on. Or it might be for a hot and cold fill machine, maybe. They've just not removed it. This is a cold fill only. Because the pressure sensor is still on, I would imagine this is for a hot and cold fill machine. They just we haven't tweaked it. So we'll press it again. It will advance into anti-clockwise tumbles. Now it will heat. So I'll leave it for about a minute, see if that number, see if it goes up to 15 degrees. Or it might just heat for 3 seconds. Like one of these ones that just heats for 3 seconds and doesn't actually physically heat. Like for in the sun or something. There we go, 15.
jump between 14 and 15 at the moment. He's trying to make his mind up. What temperature it is? There we go. Since he's leveled out at 15. I was sure if he left that there long enough, he'd reach 90. Maybe 95. Maybe even 100. I'm not going to leave it there that long. Because it's just how long it's taken to get up to 16. If it even does heat. Because I know some LG models only heat for 3 seconds. So, if we advance it again, it's now going to drain, and you'll see this number go back up to 255. So that, once again, proves the pressure sensor is working. fully emptied. If we advance it again, it will now test the dryer box. And it's touching a bunch of numbers on the display. So I think the 198 means the, the fan spinning at about 2000 RPM. And I think the 20 is how hot it is. So if we just leave that on a minute, we should see the 20 start to go up, if I'm right. 21. It should start to, to increase quite rapidly, if I'm correct. So yeah, it seems like that is the temperature because that's just rapidly increasing. So if we advance it, that's the end of the service mode on the LG. So it'll play that in tune at the end of the um, at the end of the service mode, obviously, as you just heard. But yeah, basically that's the service mode for this particular LG washer dryer. Um, it's pretty similar in in terms of the sequence in pretty much all LG machines. Um, give or take a few steps. Some might be slightly different. Obviously, if you have a twelve hundred RPM machine, it's not going to go fourteen hundred on the on the spin section. It'll only go twelve hundred. So if you've got um, a one thousand RPM or even an eight hundred RPM LG, one of the older ones, it will obviously only have to maximum speed. But yeah. So hopefully this helped you, if it did then please leave a like and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and yeah thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video then let me know and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.